Joe's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, as most of my viewers know, I've got a couple of sources of cutting my metal. One of them is the fine 14 inch slugger cutoff saw with a carbide tip blade, and the other is a DeWalt Portaband. I've had each of these saws for almost two years now and cut literally hundreds and hundreds of cuts on both, still on the original blades. But I'm afraid that day has finally come and both blades are shot. So stay tuned while we change these blades to learn a little bit more about each saw and the blades we're going to be using. Let's get started. All right, so this is the uh, the fine 14 inch slugger cutoff saw. I've had this thing for a couple of years now, and, and uh, I got to say it works amazing. I just like everything about it. You know, there's a lot of saws out there that are very similar, but uh, I just like the way this one works. The adjustable table right there allows you to make multiple cuts, multiple angles, I should say. Uh, I use it all the time, and it's got a nice, secure uh, locking bolt um, mechanism as well. It also comes with a safety chain right here. Um, I always hook this thing in the down position. I'm not using it uh, with the blade up. It uh, could be pretty dangerous. And you can see right here that almost every single tooth on the blade has finally broken or chipped off. And, and I got to say, this, this, this blade... Uh, doesn't owe me anything. I've got hundreds and hundreds of cuts with multiple types of steel on here, metal, uh, even stainless steel. Probably not the best choice to be cutting with stainless steel. But uh, anyways, it has uh, served me well, but it's definitely time to, uh, to replace this one out. And I was able to pick this blade up on Amazon, I believe, and they're about $100 to $115. Pretty simple change out here. Just uh, uh, release a couple screws and flip the guard around take the nut off put the new blade on and the blade also has an indicator to be sure that uh, the blade is running in the in the proper direction that's you for sure want to get it going in the right direction right there tighten the uh, bolt up again and then a couple of simple little screws for the guard and uh, you're back in business now this is the DeWalt uh, portaband I've got it hooked up on a swag table uh, this is really a good way to go. I'm telling you this thing is this thing is pretty awesome the way it's set up And you can see the blade right there. Maybe you can it's just the teeth are missing right there And it's pretty much that way all the way around the blade again after hundreds of cuts uh, still cuts, but uh, Not so well so time to change it out. Just release the the, the single uh, screw on the table there uh, Take the tensioner off put the new blade on be sure it's going in the proper direction Put it back in, put the single screw back in, and, uh, you know, tighten up uh, the tensioner right there, and you're back in business. Now, DeWalt provides a, uh, a foot control with this thing, and I made my own custom bracket for that and hooked it up at the base of the saw, and this thing works out really good. I'm really happy with the way this thing's set up. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, saw blade exchange uh, was a success. Uh, if you guys are looking to use the same products that I use, I will put a link in the description below. A couple of side notes. If you live in the Chicago area or surroundings, uh, Fabtech 2017, November the 6th through the 9th. I will be there on Monday and Tuesday. If you happen to be there, you see me wandering around, I'd love to meet you. The other thing is the website is up and running and uh, we've got some swag there, some t-shirts, some hats, some other miscellaneous things. I'd love for you to check it out, jimbosgarage.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.